With over 8 billion text messages being sent every day, Britain's security services are desperate for an army of new recruits to help spot the ones that could be linked to terror. And by new recruits, I mean young people. Heading up their search is super spook Sir Nicholas Charles. Sir Nicholas has granted us unprecedented access and he's allowed us to undertake covert filming as he meets a series of young people he thinks may be able to help crack the SMS code. We are fighting a war on a new front, that front is social media. In order to achieve his mission objectives, Sir Nicholas must first use some highly specialized techniques to win the youngster's trust. Would you like a halibut? Uh, yes, please. Cheese string? Yes, please. Uh, w what about a cap with sun? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, could I just... Thanks. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, do you usually penetrate from the top or do you come from behind? Pardon? The Capri Sun. Oh, 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 um, um. <laughs> Having gained their trust, Sir Nicholas reveals something of his background. I work for an agency that works for a larger agency, that works for a conglomerate, that works for a business outfit that has dealings with a co-partnership that does business with the government. You work for the government? In so many words, yes. With the clock ticking, the young people are put to work analyzing and decoding a series of messages flagged by Sir Nicholas as highly suspicious. This was intercepted at 2.38 on Wednesday morning. It says, can't sleep, light bulb, exclamation mark, small camcorder, aubergine, envelope. Most boys talk to girls around these times because they want girls to send pictures naked to themselves. So men sleep. are getting in contact with females in the middle of the night and asking them to take pictures of vegetables and send them to them. Not vegetable, but you know what I mean. But that's clearly a vegetable. It's, it's an aubergine. The aubergine means he's, he's penis. If I show you... Like, Please, no, don't. No, no, no it's I, fine. If I can send a pic... No, 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 I don't want a picture. No, no, it's, no. It's, I understand. Sorry, I could get into a lot of trouble for that. Sorry, sorry. Sir Nicholas reads out another message that he believes could be a communique between two deadly terrorist cells. Wanna bang later? Question mark. Winky face. I'm ready to explode. Dot, dot, dot. Where are you? Yes. Do you want to have set later? Sorry? Do you want to have sex later? No. Oh, no, not us. Of course not us. I'm saying this decoy. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ready to explode. You are? No. That's what he's saying. Yes, that is, yes. What that means... Yes. ...is that he's ready to ejaculate. <sighs> With the text messages expertly translated, we see Sir Nicholas move on to one particular name that has come up repeatedly on social media, a name security services believe could be highly significant. Who is Lim Fao? Lim Yes. Would you like me to spell it? L-M-F-A-O. Oh, it's not a name. It's He's a hacker. He's a Chinese hacker. Lim Fao. He's working for the Koreans, isn't he? You've heard of him, haven't you? No. It, you have? I think you have. It stands for something. Laughing my arse off. What about the F, though? It's a swear. I'm saying it. Oh, laughing my bloody head off. Or something like that. Bloody. L-M-B. F-A-O. Lumfau. No. Is that his brother? No. You can even use it without the F as well. L-M-A-O. Lumao. Yeah, you can use that. His oh. sister? No. Now we know that Lumfau is actually working with two other people. Lumao and Lumbao. 